Uh, hey folks, welcome to the fourth episode of our F1 banter from India with Arpit and me. Uh, we are talking about the upcoming Australian Grand Prix, which is going to be on Sunday, the first Sunday race of the year. And FP1 yeah. and FP2 are done. Alex Albon doesn't have a car, apparently. Uh, uh, Norris topped FP1 and Leclerc topped FP2. But the big news is that there are three Australian drivers at Pitha. There's uh, uh -huh. Vick, uh, Oscar Pastry, as they call him, and Valtteri Bottas. Did you see that ad of Valtteri? Yeah, yeah that was... I mean, only, only he can do it. I'm sure... No other driver on the grid would be able to pull off that ad, would even agree to listening to the script of such an ad. Only Valtteri can do it. Only Valtteri can do that. I mean, he's an honorary Aussie. Yeah. He has an Aussie girlfriend now and he's having a good time. Uh, but uh, what's happened in the last two weeks? Uh, it seems the Red Bull, whatever, fiasco has sort of died down. I think, yeah, they're somewhere down the line. I think they've all understood. They've uh, agreed to the fact that let's not break a winning combination. I mean, such dominance comes. This is like a once in a year's dominance. So it's no point throwing it away. Yeah, but I also think that... Uh... There will be changes, if not for the 25 season in Red Bull, but I think 26 when the regs change, maybe. Yeah, then um, I think probably by that time, you might even see Helmut Marco retiring. You might see Helmut Marco retiring. But the other thing I want to talk about today is like, you know, we, we haven't looked at the grid. We looked at, of course, what Oliver Behrman did in um, Saudi. But there are no yeah. rookies on the grid. I was listening to the behind the behind the grid uh, beyond the grid F1 podcast, uh, which is a brilliant podcast. You must watch his F1 certified podcast. Yeah, uh, they interviewed Oscar Piastri, and you know about just before his race, home race. And one thing discussed is that no rookies. This is the first season in forever that there's been no change in the official lineup of drivers from one season to the next. Oscar Piastri. Yeah of the year last year I don't think I mean unless Oliver Behrman gets a few more races I don't think we have a rookie uh, winning rookie of the year this year in F1 no there won't be and Behrman I mean, uh, I'm not sure Sainz still seems to be a bit off the pace and Sainz had already said that I will decide whether I'll race or not after practice so I mean, considering because he's usually he's not like half a second slower than Leclerc. He's not that slow. It's mostly a tenth or and two. But uh, yeah, but the, so there is a, still a possibility that if he is not feeling comfortably, you know, comfortable in the car, if he's not feeling physically fit, he might just opt out, and we might see Behrman again. <laughs> You might. And one thing, you know, both of us have driven very fast cars, if not open wheel racers on track. Uh, yeah. One thing you have to tell people that driving on a track at speed is a very, very physically intensive thing. Even um, oh, yeah. I mean, even if you're not going 350 kph, even doing 250 kph at the BIC, it takes a toll yeah. on you. And then this track is very, very demanding. And you know, I mean, like even if like you told the cars we have driven, BIC is still, I mean, yeah, okay. But a track like MMRT, it's physically even more taxing. Brake speeding, you feel physically exhausted. I mean, Formula One drivers have the strongest neck muscles for a reason um, of any athlete in the Absolutely. world. And yeah, athletes. Let's not make any. But the coming back to the rookie drivers. We saw with Oliver Behrman, we saw with Liam Lawson last year, um, and you're seeing with some of the other drivers, Kimi Antonelli and others in F2, um, there are some very talented uh, young drivers coming up the grid. And let's be honest, uh, Alonso, even Hamilton, they're not young anymore. I'm Alonso, definitely. Alonso is almost as old, uh, as, old as you. Uh, I, is it time? Yeah. F1 gets some new blood. I think they will. It will all happen in, uh, in you know, in quick succession because all of the old guys are holding on to it. 
also they are not that slow and because they are not still that slow they are also there's a lot of sponsor money sponsorship money that rides behind their name i mean alonso in himself you know having alonso means you get a lot of spanish uh, uh, sponsorship yeah yeah and same is for lewis i mean lewis is a big name so wherever lewis follows money follows and so i mean yeah and because they're not slow you know so i mean it's hard to like kind of ask them or expect them to leave but yeah i mean new blood should come in but i think maybe it will happen only in 26 because all of these guys are trying to hang in i think alonso hamilton still have a, more than a couple of years they would want to do see i think one problem is even f2 like oscar piastri had to sit out one season because he won f2 and the rule in f2 is that once you win f2 you can't race in the championship you can't race again um uh, i mean mick mick schumacher sitting out the last two seasons uh, two seasons now other big news is uh, talk of aramco buying out aston martin um what that will mean uh, that could mean that you know lance stroll will move on to something else maybe a seat there um you know yeah i mean aramco definitely can buy it if that happens i don't see lance stroll it might be a problem for lance stroll to hang on to his seat because he still hasn't been able to prove his worthy of that spot yeah i mean he's not a bad driver let's get this straight i know uh, there's another not friend, not the f1 youtuber called josh revel who i watch i do watch his channel it's awesome he calls him sir lance a lot um and lance gets a lot of help because his dad does own the team and uh, you know i mean his dad is the i mean lawrence stroll doesn't just own us martin he also owns uh, tommy hilfiger that's where he made all his money um, but i think it's time there is new talent that comes into f1 it's it's uh, uh oli bearman proved it oscar piastri is doing very very well um, yesterday in fp1 i think what uh, oscar was third um but yeah it almost seems certain that uh, max will will qualify first or uh, and win uh, um, yeah i mean but in qualifying leclerc does have a chance on this track because you know ferrari is uh, as of now the, both the practice sessions if you look at them in the last sector ferrari is just acing it yeah, ferrari, so that yeah but ferrari even last season had the you know one lap pace to you know get there um also yes, when it i comes want to tell to the race pace hmm. then of course we know what will happen <laughs> also on another note guys if you want to talk to us you know we we, we meet up at all these auto events many of you uh, know both of us if you are in the automotive space in india if you want to talk to us about f1 if you want to come on to this discussion this talk we talk about f1 even at the Volkswagen event a couple of days ago um we were talking f1 with others do come on yeah do give us your thoughts because you know we are all f1 fans right. and we all have more the merrier the more the merrier i mean some of you might love lewis some of you might hate lewis uh, some of lewis seems to have the most uh, visceral reactions of any driver um uh, so please do come on give your thoughts we really love to have you guys on board do let us know if you want to keep on seeing what should we discuss in future shows we'll try and do an episode a bit sooner after the uh, after the race in melbourne thank you apit thank you prashant and uh, let's see when tomorrow also it's an early morning start for everyone this race 9:30 is when the race will start on india time so um, yeah yeah 9:30 india time guys uh, 